What's going on everyone? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify because I've seen a lot of videos online explaining what pinion angle is or operating angle and a lot of people are getting confused and I figured I'm going to do my due diligence and show you guys exactly how I figure out and calculate for pinion angle. This is the way to do it. Don't get confused by their videos. Let's make this very simple. So first, let's start with the engine. Okay, we got the drive shaft and we got the differential. Here's the engine. It could be a four cylinder, eight cylinder, 12 cylinder, does not matter, but there is the engine. So what you're gonna do is since this engine is going downhill, what you're gonna do is figure out the angle of your transmission going downhill. Let's say that angle is 2.5 degrees, 2.5 degrees negative because it's going downhill. Now we're gonna measure for the drive shaft. Let's say this drive shaft is, we're gonna ballpark it, just spitball a number here, minus four degrees since it is going downhill. Now, is this differential going uphill since it's facing this way or is it going downhill? I'm gonna make it simple. This is still going downhill. The reason is when you're gonna measure, you wanna measure your component going downhill. It is at a downward angle. That's downward for the engine, downward for the drive shaft, and also downward for the differential. Don't make that mistake. Don't think that since that differential is going upward, that that angle is gonna be a positive. It's actually gonna be a negative because you wanna measure through the component. Let's say that this is at a negative minus, go to my green one, minus 2.5 degrees. How do you figure out your pinion angle if these are the measurements that you got, right? So what I use, let me show you what tool I use. What I use is a digital angle finder. What that does is that makes it very, very simple, right? So if I put it right here, just for fun, let's make it, make it negative 2.5 just for fun. Let's see if I can get there. So minus 2.5, because the transmission is going downhill, minus four degrees on the drive shaft, and minus 2.5 on a differential. And what you're gonna do to figure out what your operating angle is, is since this is a negative and this is a negative, you're actually gonna add them together, which gets you minus four plus 2.5, 1.5 degrees of operating angle. You're gonna do the same thing here, right? So you're gonna add 2.5 to four, and that's also an operating angle of 1.5 degrees. The big rule of thumb is for operating angle, you don't want anything less than one degree to a half a degree. The reason is, is in your U-joints, you have needle bearings. Those needle bearings need to spin. So what happens is, if you have everything dead set on your operating angle at zero, you're gonna get major vibrations, it's gonna cause you some issues, but if you have a little bit of angle, one to three degrees is basically what they say is the best. Three degrees being your max. I've seen some vehicles at three and a half or four degrees, not the end of the world, but three is the optimum angle for what you want. Now I measured the drive shaft on my truck, took my angles and I found that the first piece of the two piece drive shaft has an operating angle of two and a half degrees. It's not one and a half, it's actually two and a half degrees. But that is how you figure out what your operating angle is. Let's just toss another scenario in there. Let's say your differential is actually going uphill. It is not going downhill in line with your transmission output shaft or engine transmission drive shaft. It is now going uphill. Let's say that uphill is plus 2.5 degrees. The only reason I'm using that as a scenario, I'm just going the opposite of what the transmission is. It doesn't matter. You are going uphill at 2.5 degrees. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add 2.5 to four, and that makes your operating angle 6.5 degrees. You're gonna run into issues with that. You don't want that. You wanna stay below three if you can, if possible. Hopefully that explains, it makes it a little bit more simple of what your pinion angle is or where your operating angle is on your U-joints. Please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. Hopefully this made it a lot more simple for you. Now I am going to be doing the calculations on the two-piece drive shaft of my truck later on in the upcoming video because I've got big plans for this. Only a select few know what's going on. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Take care.